All right guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a full face of Chanel and I'm doing my go-to everyday makeup using some of my favorite Chanel products. So I'm using mostly like liquid products that I thought would be perfect for the summertime, using some golden bronze tones. I just think this makeup is so pretty. Um, it's really easy to do, anyone can do it. And yeah, I just wanted to take, to take you along on an easy everyday Chanel makeup look. I think just really enhances your natural beauty versus having the makeup kind of take over your look. It's super easy that you could wear for any day, for every day, for any occasion. I just think it really enhances your natural beauty without looking overdone. And again, using some of my favorite Chanel products, but specifically for everyday use. And before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it. And let's just get into this everyday Chanel makeup look that's perfect for the summertime. Starting with the eyes, I have already gone ahead and primed my eyes. I'm going to dip back into the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow in the shade Intense, these beautiful warm bronze tones with a hint of green. I have just been loving this palette and I have only used it once on my channel, so I thought I'd create another look with it. Um, to start, I'm going to do like a super simple summery everyday kind of look. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade in the palette, which is this pretty champagne. These shades don't have individual names on them, so the lightest champagne shade. This has a bit of shimmer to it. I'm gonna take it on a Sonia G Blender Pro brush and just really coat my brush into that champagne shade. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. Because I'm using a blending brush that's quite fluffy, this is giving a more like dispersed look, so it's not super pigmented on the eye. That's what I want because I want this to be very soft. And then I'm kind of slightly blending that into the crease as well. Just a little bit. This is a very light shade so it's really going to brighten my eyes up. And then I am going to take a Sonia G Builder 2 brush. This is a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go into this copper, this like golden copper shade here. This is my favorite shade in the palette. If you couldn't tell, there is a little bit of a dent in that shade. And I'm just going to press that all over the lid. So the purpose of having that champagne shade down is to give this gold shade a bit of a base. And this golden shade will apply a little brighter just because of that shade underneath. I think this looks very beautiful. And I'm not wetting my brush or anything, just applying that from inner corner to outer corner. And then I'm just going to take that same brush and just blend over the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to mix that champagne shade and the golden bronze shade, just back and forth, dipping once into each shade. And then I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line, just to add a little bit of shimmer to the lower lash, just so it kind of matches up with the top and bottom. And the shimmer on the lower lash line helps keep my eyes look really bright and open. And then I'm just going to, well actually first I'm going to make sure I connect to meet up with that outer corner so it's not just like a shimmer that ends harshly. And then I'm just going to leave the eyes at that super simple with no eyeliner or anything. And then I'll be back to work on the face. Mascara I'm using today is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I just picked up a new one of this and then the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. I'm using this as a lash primer so underneath the mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then I'll be back to work on the face. And the eyes are complete, mascara is on. That is just the simplest little one and done kind of eyeshadow look. I guess it's not the simplest since I technically use two shadows, but that's just a really easy way, like an easy eye look to put together that still makes you look very polished, um, but isn't too much effort and is just really easy to do and very simple. And I think it just looks beautiful on everyone. It's just not too complicated and I kind of like that. Um, type of makeup as you can probably tell. So instead of using a typical primer today, I am going to go in with my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint in the shade Medium. Right? Yes, Medium. So I'm going to go in with this as kind of my primer. So I'm just going to take a pump of it. My preferred method to use this is just using it with my fingers. You can apply it with a brush or a beauty blender. I'd probably recommend, well as long as you kind of burst the pigments, you can apply it with a sponge. I just like how it feels with my fingers. So I'm just applying this as a base all over the face. So this adds a very light tint of coverage and it really perfects any texture on my skin. And this will make it so I don't need to go in with as much foundation or concealer. 
So I really like using this in the summertime when I just want to have less product on my face. I just like that specifically in the summer because this feels really light. It just absorbs into the skin and the gel um, formula of this isn't too hydrating on the skin. So I don't find this gets too luminous or dewy throughout the day. It just gives you a really nice base to apply a little bit of foundation on top where you require it versus applying it all over and then with the heat it kind of just melts off. I don't really have that problem with any of the foundations that I use in the summertime. I don't find they melt off. But I just like that feeling of having as little product on my face as possible. And then before moving on to foundation, I'm going to quickly go into concealer. Nothing new here. I don't have a Chanel concealer, but I'm considering ordering it before they reformulate because I've had some, some subscribers say that they really love it. So until then, I'm just going to take my Dior Forever concealer and just apply a little bit under my eyes. And then I always apply a little here. One, to clean up any eyeshadow that fell this way. And also I'm a little blue on the outer corner and I apply it in this upward motion just to kind of elevate my, it kind of gives a lifting effect to the face, not elevate, or I guess it would be elevating your face a little bit, but I just find it's very, very subtle. Like you can't really notice it because it blends right into the skin, but I just like how this looks. So I'm just going to blend that in. All right. So that's just a light application of concealer. And now normally when I do my makeup, you've seen me apply concealer before I go in with foundation, but with the water fresh tint, I prefer applying concealer after. So I don't know, I just think it works better. And again, this works as a really nice base if I want to apply foundation over top because it just absorbs really beautifully into the skin. It's not heavy, it's not too moisturizing. It just blurs imperfections and texture and gives me a nice base to work on. So today, going with the Chanel theme, I am going to go in with this Sublimage La Sans Détente foundation. I wear the shade B40. And now because I've gone in with the water fresh tint, I only need one pump of this foundation. Alternatively, if you were kind of wanting to do your makeup a little more quickly, you could just mix one pump of each of these. And this would help sheer out the sublimage foundation, just so it would go on a little more sheer. But I just chose to use that as a primer today because I'm kind of going to just use this in specific areas versus applying this foundation all over my face. So just taking one pump of that, and again, with my beauty friend blender sponge, I'm going to apply that just all over. Well, not all over, specifically in areas where I need a bit more coverage. So for me, I'm going to focus that a little on the chin. I have a bit more discoloration um, down towards my jawline. So I like to focus on there first. And then kind of just with the excess product, a little on my nose, it's a little more red than everywhere else. And then with the excess, I'm just gonna kind of take it all over. Now I've said this in a few videos, but I like to go over the pore area last with the least amount of product because I just think foundation looks really noticeable if you apply it directly, like straight from pumping it out. If you apply it straight to the middle of your face on your pore area, I just think the foundation looks a little heavy. It's a little more noticeable and that's where your makeup tends to break up first. So that's why I like to go with the least amount of product in that area. Now, if you did have a lot of pigmentation there, you might just want to go in there first, um, but that is totally up to you. I'm just saying how I like to do it. Okay, and time for bronzer. I mentioned in my 2021 favorites so far that my favorite bronzer of the year, I had two actually, but was this Water Fresh Tint in the shade Deep. So I actually got this idea from Grace from Everyday Edit. I totally forgot to credit her in my first video, so I did want to mention that that is where I got this idea from. And it is truly beautiful. So I'm just going to, I guess I don't need to shake it, but just have it. Um, this is, again, the shade Deep. I'm going to apply a pump onto my palm because, again, if I apply it to the back of my hand where there's pores, it will just get absorbed. And then it will get absorbed to my pores, pardon. And then I'm just going to apply that with my Beauty Blender sponge. So I just went in with one pump of product. And then I'm just going to use the viewfinder as a mirror. I'm going to stir it on my forehead, really blend it into the hairline, and then blend on the cheeks. And this just gives such a pretty natural bronzed effect. It does not look makeup-y. It just absorbs right into the skin. Very skin-like, which I love. It reminds me of like this Sisley bronzer, the Chantecaille, in that on the way it appears on the skin when it's blended is that it just looks like a cream. And obviously this is kind of more of that liquid product. So it is going to look more skin like, especially because this is a tint versus using a foundation 
um, like a deeper colored foundation. I've seen some people do that. I just don't like to do that because it adds coverage and I think starts to look heavy. But since this is a, a tint, it doesn't really add coverage. It's a very sheer bronzed effect. And I think it just looks beautiful. And once it is on the skin, I find with this formula, because it is that gel formula, that once it sinks into the skin, it stays put all day. It doesn't budge or, or smudge or anything like that or crease up or it doesn't look heavy throughout the day. It just adds that skin-like effect. It makes you look so healthy all day long. And yeah, I just really love that. So I'm just going along on all the areas where I've grown. So a bit on my jawline, definitely on the cheeks and my forehead and I'm just making sure to work that into the hairline. One pump, but I think that one pump looks really pretty and gives me that natural bronze effect and I look healthy and sun-kissed, but I don't look overdone, which I really enjoy. So I'm just gonna kind of let that bronzer and foundation just meld into my skin a bit before I decide if I need powder. I don't think I'm going to add powder today, but just while it all sinks into my skin, I am going to finish up the eyes so going back into the Intense palette and taking that lightest champagne shade and going to apply this with a MAC 228 brush and I just am going to sweep it on the inner corner. And then to finish off the lower lash line, now I realize I used a completely different bronzer than the one I'm going to use on my eyes, but I ordered, I actually just ordered the Chanel bronzer that was released last year in the summer collection. It just hasn't come yet. That was a re-release, like a re-promote for this year. Um, so instead of using a sh another Chanel bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Chanel Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is the new formula of the bronzer. You could just go in with a powder bronzer if you wanted to as well, but I just thought I'd keep with the Chanel theme and I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This actually works really nice as a cream shadow. I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush and apply this to the lower lash line just because I don't really like to have only shimmer on the lower lash line. So this will just add a bit of something and just pull the look together. And then again, connecting to the top, I'm gonna bring it about three quarters of the way across, not all the way across, because I still want this to be quite frightening. I was gonna go in with my Pearl Dia Clad Highlighter, but I feel like I've used it so much lately. So I'm just gonna go in, sticking with the cream products because this will be really natural looking and it's a perfect summertime look. Um, this highlight is super natural. This is the Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in the shade Pearly Glow. So I'm just going to go ahead and give a shake to this because it is liquidy and it can separate a bit. And again, apply. I'm just going to go in. Oh, that was a small pump. Okay, I'm going to go in with a pump and a half. I'm not going to use this whole thing. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender sponge and start with a little bit of product. I'm not using that whole thing. And I'm going to apply that onto just the tops of the cheekbones. Oh, it has a nice cooling effect on my skin. And then take that excess on the cupid's bow and a little bit down the center of the nose. So I feel like that was too much. I have this much left, I'm just gonna wipe it off. And then I'm just going to take that excess product off with a paper towel. And then I'm going to go over the edges to really blend that into the skin. I probably could have just used this edge of the sponge to apply that highlighter actually if I was thinking smartly, but oh, this just is such a perfect highlighter for the summertime. You get that really skin-like effect. So I think all the products we've used so far really aid in that natural skin-like effect that isn't too overwhelming. It doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup. I would say this is a bit more than a no makeup makeup look because I did use um, the Chanel Supplemage Foundation, which has a bit more coverage than something that I would typically use for a no makeup makeup look. And obviously I have mascara on and stuff, but it does look quite skin-like. And this is what I would consider like a natural glam look that is just perfect for every day. And I do find like, even though these products are more lightweight and more sheer coverage, they last all day. And then like, for blush, sadly, all my favorite Chanel blushes have been discontinued. They are reformulating. My favorite shade in the permanent line was Elegance. Again, they're reformulating it. And then as I've mentioned a few times, I absolutely adore this duo so very much. I don't know if you can still get your hands on the Chanel Elegance shade. And I'm also not sure about this. I know it was available in the US for quite a while. I wish Chanel would come out with cream blushes that weren't those bomb essentials because I hate those. Um, I wish they would come out with like a cream blush. Um, so hopefully they do. Actually, I think I saw promos that they were releasing this in a blush, which I would be obsessed with. 
So I'm just going to go in with this. You can take any of your favorite Chanel blushes, but I just really, really love this one. This is the Fleur de Printemps. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth between these two because um, I just want that glowing effect. So that highlighter, if I add that in a little bit, it will add that beautiful sheen, but it doesn't emphasize texture, which I just love. And I'm going to go quite light-handed on the application because I still want this to look... I don't want to say very natural because it's makeup, but it will give me more of that just my natural beauty enhance versus like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. So I'm really making sure to press that blush into the back of my hand to get off that excess product. I just want a sheer wash of color just to give me life back to my skin, add that youthful effect back to the skin. And I do like to apply blush kind of I like to start kind of in the center of my cheek and then I do like to apply it to the apples just because I think that makes me look a little younger and adds that, again, youthful effect back to the skin. It gives you life, it gives you color, and I just think there's like a really nice plumping effect to it that just makes you look a little younger versus like having everything like really sculpted um, to the nines. I don't know, I just like this effect, but up to you how you want to apply your blush. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the lip liner from Chanel. This is the shade Rose Natural. And I'm going to line my lips and then I'm gonna fill them in. This is a very creamy and smooth pencil. It's really a nice formula. Not my favorite of all time, but it is really nice. Now, if you wanted your lips to be really long wearing for the full day, I would recommend going in with the Ultra Tano, the liquid lipstick. I would pick that, but I just want this to look really fresh, and there's something about the spring and summertime where I just really like a lip liner and a lip gloss. So I'm going to take the Chanel lip gloss, the Rouge Coco gloss in the shade 804. I think it's called Rose Nafe or something. Now, I know this looks very obnoxiously pink, but it doesn't apply on the lips that pink. I just think it adds a nice effect to the lip liner. It just keeps my lips nice and hydrated and adds a slight little sheen and plump effect. And then I just like to tap everything in because I don't like my lipstick or lip liner or lip gloss to sit on my lips. I like it to be all blended in nicely. All right, so I don't have a favorite Chanel powder. I just don't really like the way they look on my skin. I am going to add just a bit of powder just in the center of my face, just because I used all liquid products. So I'm going to take the Chantecaille Blur Powder, and this was re-released in the Flower Power packaging. So it is still available, and I'm just going to pounce that in the center of my face just to set everything down so it lasts all day. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday Chanel makeup look that is perfect for this summertime using mostly cream products. I wanted to show you my um, favorite bronzer in action and another look with the Chanel Le Beige Intense Eye Palette just because I think this is truly stunning. I think this is the perfect summertime everyday palette. I like a really natural glam look, especially for everyday. So I like something that's not totally no makeup makeup, but nothing too glam where I have to, I don't know, I don't like to take too much time in the morning to get ready. I just look like some, I just like something that's simple but effective that makes you look put together without too much effort. And I just think the skin looks really beautiful. It's not overdone in any way. I think this would be perfect any occasion look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.